All right, so. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Got one of them PS5s on the launch. Is that good stuff? We got super lucky with that. It wasn't luck. It was my amazing skills. It was skills. luck. Okay, so we're in the finale. Who do we want to start with? Every, everybody's been going through it in every fucking route. I don't know. I don't know which finale route to start with, dear. So I'll let you choose. Everybody's just gone through it in a completely different way. Yeah, I know. Boat Rufus? Okay. Darkman says Rufus. Let's uh, go. Alright, I, I like Rufus. Rufus is pretty sweet. And remember me, I gave him red hair. So don't look for the blonde motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The ending of all four, or all Act 4 routes was fucking crazy. That's Gorbanning's. Long time no see, Lloyd. Reen, you can't see shit with that mask on. You, you seem to be doing alright. Yeah, your hair is very well, voluminous. Glad that seems to be the case for you two as well. Arendelle told us you'd come to Crossbell. Mm -hmm. but it feels much better seeing your face. I last saw you as the Ashen Chevalier. <laughs> But I suppose I should think of you more as just one of Class Seven now, shouldn't I? I mean, you can think of me as a, a divine blade of stop wind. Whatever was jamming our communications. That's, yeah. that's cool. We managed to disable the device that was responsible. We, we were should done rings first. The sonorous sea shell that it was using too. You know, I was worried sick when I heard about what happened at the ceremony. Where are you Lisa, going, Reen? Agius, Toa, Sharon. It's so good to see you all looking well. <laughs> <laughs> the same to you, Reen. What happened to your eye and your hair? Yeah, what's the story there? Hair dye and I found Sorry a cool mask. Surprising you. <laughs> Things have taken some turns, we'll say. <laughs> yeah, yeah Reen's been going through it. friends have been fighting the good fight over there. Thanks, gang. Okay. You might also want to know that we were able to rescue Prince Olivert and Lady Sherizard. So don't you worry another minute about that. Excellent. Really? We saved the group. That the is honeymooners. a relief. <laughs> it's a shame they had hell to deal with straight off into their honeymoon. At least don't. they're both alright. Don't worry, Aggie. That spelled the end of our troubles. Fucking Olivert managed to impregnate Shara in the limited time of their honeymoon. <laughs> we were only able to catch part of it. We heard the whole thing. I'll fill you in. Please do, Lloyd. Your hair is great. That is sheer madness. He wants the Empire, the Republic, no, the world to swear fealty to him? Yeah. Oh boy, this He's is starting man. to sound real bad. Fake Rufus I imagine is crazy. the Empire will remain silent for the time being, but Calvert would never. They I won't never. hesitate to crush Crossbell upon labeling it a terrorist state. And they'll point the fault for its formation at Erebonia. Ah, this is reverie. I wouldn't put that past their new president at all. Yeah. Even if the Supreme Leader isn't the real Rufus Alperea. My steel is warm, filled with all the blood of my enemies. That little revelation was quite the shocker. I can't believe the person responsible for occupying the city isn't even the real guy. I thought so. Met the real one in the capital, I wouldn't have um, it either. It sounds like we've encountered a number of the uh, uh no, because the there's only of wind and the almighty conflagration. The only DLC that has outfits is the um the SSS Summer Beach Time AK. This is a lot of this is just from um just doing the in-game stuff. So, most of the DLC from all the Cold Steel games and the Azure and the Crossbell games is actually just available in the gotcha machine in the reverie corridor in this game. We're starting to weed out the replicas from the real ones, though. The yeah, that's pretty good. The occupied Crossbell after breaking out of jail seemed almost impossible till the whole replica angle came to light. I feel like you suspected he was an imposter even before knowing these replicas existed, Lloyd. Yes, dear. Yeah. <laughs> Do you? No, it's Lloyd. You're girl. Looking at yeah, you're looking at Lloyd. Of course I'm looking at Lloyd. <laughs> Best girl banning. Iron didn't make any sense. Once we learned about all the replicas, everything else began to fall into place. I see. 
<laughs> Who knew I'd be a clue? Well, if he's not the real deal, that makes things simple for us. We just gotta smash his fake ass face in. Fake ass face. So this is starting to remind me quite a bit of Tales of the Abyss. I'm with Ash. Especially now we've managed to make our way into Crossbell. Though we're also going to need to be careful of the other replica that we know is at large. Right. Yeah, the fucking that guy. The phenomenon itself is called assimilation, right? And it's behind all these changes to my body. Yes. It's like he's able to erode your very existence somehow. That ain't good. Unfortunately, we can't say for sure what will happen if the process is allowed to continue either. This is horrible. It ain't good. That eighth divine night you mentioned must be dealt with. What you're going through matters just as much to us. The SSS will help you however we can, Reen. Let's uncover the truth. I love how Thanks, we're Lord. we we're on Rufus's route, but it's just Reen and Lloyd. Just as much. It is really Whatever just Reen and Lloyd. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't you can know. Count on us. And he really does mean whatever. We're clearly going to need all the help we can get to resolve this. Then allow us to offer our assistance as well. Rufus! What? How'd you get out of my fucking connection, motherfucker? Rufus? Bitch, just hack my Zoom meeting. Forgive me for <laughs> listening in, but I had to take the chance once it presented itself. Gang. Ren? Sight! Even the Divine Blade of Wind and Duvali. Duvali! I am pleased to see you again, my friends. <laughs> Pay me no mind. Call me but a fly on the wall of this whole affair. So there's a very good chance I'm going to be very us. upset when Zyte joins, sure as soon as Zyte joins well the party. And in the care of someone we can trust. Because I have ideas. That's good. Thank you. Uh, worried about her. This is great and all, but when did you get there, Ren? We thought you were still in the borough. Ren's in trouble. <laughs> I sneaked my way into Crossbell after getting a message from Grandpa York. I couldn't contact you from the inside. And I had to be careful about when to reach out after I joined our fine friend. Rufus. Rufus. <clears throat> I see you're still with those same children we saw at the Capitol. Now that I've revealed myself, I ought to start with some hellos. Starting with our dear SSS. It's been some time. As for my friends from Thor's, the ones who were in Heimdall can see I've done away with my mask for the most part. And Claire, Lecter, I'm pleased to see you're in good health. <laughs> nice haircut. You really are him. Motherfucker, he his hair looks like yours, Lecter. Shut the fuck up. The real <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> I would like to make it clear that I was not hired to do anything. He only hired Nadia and Swin, not me. So you don't get paid, Aww, Lapis. Did it bug you that much? He may as well be your boss, though. So it was you, after all. You helped us when we were stuck at the military factory a couple days ago. Indeed. Oh. There we have it. Some faces to match the voices. I knew it was you, Ren. I knew it! I figured you would recognize me. Your assistance then was just as valuable for us, I'm sure you realize. I do. To return the favor, we have information I think you'll find very enlightening. It regards the nature of the being behind all of this. So now we're going to learn about the Matrix. Elysium. So we now have the kind of technological singularity theorized by Professor Epstein. Mm -hmm. How funny. That something so life-ending is the war. Would be the key to granting new life like this instead. Indeed. Super intelligent AI that can calculate, in essence, predict the future. It then realizes its calculations, creating replicas like the Supreme Leader who desired to enact Crossbell's occupation. And the only way to try and stop it is through its former administrator. Your name is Lapis, I think I heard. You heard correctly. Lapis Rosenberg. Lapis Rosenberg is correct, yes. But I would ask that you not stare in that boorish manner. Rosenberg dolls are noble and elegant. 
They must be looked upon with all the love and respect they are entitled. Bitch, you're dressed like a magical girl. I, you have like half clothes. I didn't mean to. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just in awe of you. So am I. Mm. Belle's shown me Rosenberg's dolls before, but none of them compare to you. Your base materials appear very different from combat shells, but the tech involved is still just as advanced. Her faultless craftsmanship is truly Meister Yorg's signature. Indeed. Uh, I. I want to pop open the hood and get a good look at the tech inside. Tita, you're creepy. <laughs> How crude! You're awful! Down, Tita. <laughs> Two teller agate. I'm surprised they accepted that explanation without hesitation. Yes, future predicting AIs are just Tuesday if you've been through enough crazy in your life. Ah, I get the reference. Who or whatever now administrates I'll show you the reference later. is without doubt behind my replica. I expect you'll need its former administrator to uncover the truth and liberate Crossbell. Though I am the man who enclosed many of you in a birdcage, and though I had a role in setting the twilight in motion, would you still be willing to accept my help? Yes, you're strong. You're strong and you keep good company. We need your power, Rufus. So we're going to be hopping into the Reverie Corridor first chance we get. Rufus Alberea, on behalf of the special support Pop -pop section party. of the Crossbell Police Department. No, the next stratum. I accept. We've suffered a hell of a lot at your hands, for sure. But because of that, we know better than anyone just what you're capable of. <laughs> it sounds weird when you say it out loud, but it's true. Calvert is well. likely <laughs> preparing to act as we speak. But if we can swiftly liberate the city and begin negotiating with them, I don't think it's too late to turn this around. Exactly. So we need to make the logical choice here. The one that will allow us to earn Crossbell's independence once and for all. It's time to take back what matters most to us. <laughs> Everyone. But we have no idea what's really going on. Back all the way. As do we. Oh, me. Just bear in mind that accepting your help here does not preclude you and I from a very long, very overdue talk. <laughs> Once this is over, you may have as much of my time as you please. Now then, we shall count ourselves among your number. Huzzah! This will be my chance to right my past wrongs, to complete what I'd left unfinished. And... I think there's another reason now as well. To protect the magical lolly doll. <laughs> the magical dolly. <laughs> All right. Let's get to work on figuring out a plan. Right. Don't be afraid to speak up. We'll need all the input we can get. Okay. And thus they all eagerly began devising a plan to liberate Crossbell City. They wanted to first find a way to to use being divided across the region to their advantage. It took no time for a voice to propose using their open communication lines to coordinate a three-pronged strike on the city. <laughs> they would attack from the south, east, and west entrances, forcing enemy forces to thin their ranks to attack each side at once. This would make it that much easier to hasten their way to where the Supreme Leader would assuredly be stationed, Orcus Tower. It would also... It was also agreed that analyzing the mysterious device in the Castle of Mirrors was of the utmost importance. Professor Schmidt and Russell, as well as Yona and Kia, agreed to head this task. However, this required no strategic input. They were to simply devote themselves to its analysis while the three-pronged operation was in motion. Here, here. Having finalized plans down to the very last detail, the participants headed toward their respective rendezvous points for the night. All that was left was to rest and wait for morning to come. Indeed. March 22nd, the day of Crossbell's liberation. 9.55 a.m., the day of Crossbell's, like, fourth liberation. <laughs> we have received word that rebel forces will soon begin their attack on the city. How the fuck did you figure that out, Rufus? So, let them come, 
and see your might as the Ebon Defense Force for everlasting peace! Victory for Crossbell! Glory to the Supreme Leader! Glory to Glorzo! It appears we're all set here. The White Orchid Dragon is, of course, continuing to be an ever unpredictable element. Eh, whatever happens will happen. You ready to go? Yes, sir! Alright, so Dieter and Garcia were like the inside men. Some big shit's going down. Well, well, if it isn't my good friend Crow and the Ashen Chevalier. How time flies. It's good to see you too, Scarlet. The last time we spoke was that little call George arranged right before the war broke out, huh? Look at you all dolled up in your girls with her outfit. You sure it's okay to help out our group? Vald would be escorting Father Wazi. Last thing I want to be is a third wheel. Never mind that. Are you sure you're all right, Schwarzer? His behavior has been completely normal, which makes it all the more unsettling. Knowing the instructor, he may just be putting on a brave face so he doesn't have to worry us. A very handsome and brave face. I promise you, I'm fine. Really. If anything, I have too much energy. Though I can't deny my left eye feels somewhat restless. That's the kind of thing we're worried about, dumbass. I only pray that there's some way to reverse the assimilation process. We'll just have to hunt down that poser and beat the answer out of him. I can only imagine he's preparing to fight us alongside the Supreme Leader's forces. Not that it will stop us from finding him and putting an end to this. Yeah, thanks everyone. Okay. So everything's getting put into motion. Oh, I just had to get myself involved in this, didn't I? You could have walked away at any time, you know. She's a kind soul deep down, huh? Yep, tough on the outside, soft on the inside. Like a buttery biscuit. Yeah, dear, like a buttery biscuit. <laughs> Don't you I start. So. It's already begun. Given the operation, it would be... I would have expected things to be more tense. Weren't you set on sticking to the shadows? I wasn't expecting you to don your old mask again and actually take part in this. Hey, my mask is simply to prevent distress in the citizenry who might witness two people with my face. The time for acting in the shadows has passed. Now I am but another piece on the game board. Still, I am just as surprised that the two of you are still with us. I wouldn't have thought any amount of mirror would justify the risks taking part in this operation. Heh. <laughs> hey, we just don't like to leave debts unpaid. You helped us take care of that imposter of the Emperor. Just think of this as a little bonus from us. Speaking of bonuses, we haven't forgotten that you about the one you promised us. I'm looking forward to it. There are so many places I want to go with LP once this is all over. I see. Thanks, both of you. Let's stuff our faces silly when this is over. Yeah. Perhaps this is the goddess's hand at work. Everybody's in their spot. Let's talk, best girl Mannings. I'm counting on you to handle things as we discussed, Emma. Of course, but satisfying every necessary condition won't be easy. The first challenge will be to make it to where they're waiting, but I'll do my part. I will not fail. We can't afford to. The Scorbannings! They must be going over the plan they devised last night. I would imagine so. I really hope it works. I doubt we have much to worry about, not with those three on the case. Sure, copy that. <laughs> Everyone at the east and the west entrances is in position. Got it. We're good to go then. Begin the assault on Orcus Tower. Shit's getting crazy. It's only been a few days since Crossbow was occupied, but so much has happened that it feels like an eternity. That it does. It was just a few days ago we were lost, unsure of what to do with ourselves, and separated from one another. But in the end, we made it back here, together. We owe a lot to Reen and Uni backing us up, too. There's only one thing left for us to do now. That's right. We're going to take back our home. And we'll stake the pride of the Crossbow Police Department on getting it done. This is just business as usual when it comes to us, isn't it? About time we got some payback on those assholes for thinking they could just take over our old home. Nice to hear you kids still got the fire in your belly. Of course we do. We're not going to go down without a fight. It's almost time to begin the operation. 
The CGF will work with the police to subdue the Ebon Defense Force while prioritizing the safety of citizens above all else. Meanwhile, the SSS Class 7 and Rufus Alborea's group will use this opening to make for the tower, where they will apprehend the Supreme Leader. Crossbell's fate rests on your shoulders, everyone. Good luck. Good luck. Yes, ma'am! Alright, do I finally get control? Nope, never mind. Look, there's a tank operating a computer. It looks like the tank's looking down at it. <laughs> you can do it, guys. I, I really wish Kia had her fucking zero child power. That'd be nice. That'd be helpful. 9.59 a.m. 10 a.m. Commence the operation. All units advance. Yeah. All right. Shit, I just realized half the shit I was using is on Reen Steam at the moment. Oh, no. <laughs> Whoops. It's an all-out war! <laughs> Give me control! <laughs> Ow! Wolf summons wolves. Those wolves have flash bombs. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. We're in. Our teams are getting our teams are all getting in the city. Death to the traitors. None of us here are traitors, it's all you. Supreme Leader. <laughs> the hell are these guys? The dance is warping their minds. Is the Supreme Leader's done putting on airs then? Everyone else go ahead. We'll catch up soon enough. Roger that. I'll leave this to you for now. <laughs> Damn right. Now get out of here. The fucking squire evolved. He's not quite yet a father. Go ahead and find Reen. And I'll go meet up with Rufus as planned. May Adios keep you safe, special support section. Right back at you. <laughs> we'll rendezvous in front of the tower. I tell Reen and Uni I said hey. We'll do. Shall we? We shall. The real battle starts now. No, everyone. Sharon. It's time we take back our crossbell. Yeah. Estelle, we're counting on you guys. Hit, hit him with the big stick, Estelle. No problemo. We've got your backs. Estelle hits him with the big stick. Finale, hope and reverie. What the... Oh. It doesn't matter. Oh, okay then. I mean, it is the finale. Like, all all, all, all routes lead to here. Let them outshine us. Oh, fucking hell. Okay. Who? Uh, obviously, Tita's... Wait. Oh, yeah, we do have Tito. Okay. Tita, Estelle... And JPEG. I like the ladies, but Josh was just too damn cool. Okay. Uh, uh, Alright, where's my shit? Passionate Rouge. Passionate Rouge. Passionate Rouge, Passionate Rouge. 
Uh, Goldie on what? That's acceptable. Uh, uh, we're going to give you the true gladiator belt for that little bit of extra CP per turn. And you can have a regular gladiator belt because we need you to do your cool stuff too. Uh... Jesus Christ. Kagura. Yeah, I don't even have fucking Toa here. Goddamn. Hades gem? No. Night gleam? No. Actually, oh no, yes, Hades gem. No. <laughs> I don't know. What do I want on him? Revolution. Elias gem. Yeah, not Elias gem. Estelle needs break stuff. Well, attacks of crafts can petrify and poison enemies. That's good. I'm sorry, Lapis. Plus eight here. I want Joshua to be fast as fuck. Oh, and while you're doing this, didn't you say that you should have somebody have one of those ring things? Does this team need that or no? This team's gonna need that, yes. Oh. Well, let's have him put blind on. And since I'm not going to be using her to paint anything, we will have Seraphic Ring. Because we, ju we just need somebody who can fucking just fully res the entire party when need be. Now, Force of Reaper turn. And Scold is high HP break damage. You know what? I think this is I think this is the good stuff. Yeah, I think this is how we're gonna have the layout. 